Hi there. In this video, you're going to learn how to add page numbers to your document. So let's get started. Let's select the A master as we'll be adding a text box in here so that it automatically populates in every page. Let's also grab the text tool and make a text box at the bottom left of the page within the left margin. If you prefer to put it to the bottom right side of the page or the top, it is up to you entirely because it's going to work irrespective of where on the page you put it. The first one is to right click the text box you just created and then go to insert special character and then markers and under markers select current page number or you can go to type menu and then insert special character and then markers and then select current page number from here. And of course, using a shortcut is always a possibility and the shortcut is Option Shift Command and N on a Mac or Alt Shift Control and N on a PC. The moment I click on it, the letter A is dropped into the text box. It is the letter A because it is A master. If it was B master, the letter would change to B and so on. So let's add the word page before it. I think our text box is almost kissing the border, so let's drag it down just a bit. Although on the A master, you could see page A to be the page number, but that does not mean that it's going to be page A in every page. Let's click on one of the pages to verify the page number. And there you could see it's page 3 as we are on page 3. You can check other pages and you'll find everything is in perfect order. So adding page numbers is a very simple procedure in InDesign. In fact, let me show you something else. Let's make another text box on the bottom right of A master. Now right click the text box and go to insert special character and then symbols. And you see it's not just the page numbers. There are so many other options you can choose from. So let's pick the copyright symbol because that's one thing we get to find a lot in official documents. And let's type in Adobe InDesign Training. And also right align it since it's on the right side of the page. And now this information will also be available in every single page of yours that has A master applied. So you should know by now that information that's repetitive and is found in every page like copyright or headers or footers or page numbers, etc. should be inserted into the master page unless of course you just have one page to deal with. Then that's a different story altogether. Alright guys, that's a short one. So I shall see you in the next one in a moment. Goodbye.